let's do a tarot reading and a higher self oracle card reading for all of my astrology signs. We're going to do Olympia right before. My Piedra Alumbre. What do we have for Aries that are following me or watching this video or came across this video? Listen. Transformation. Have you been wondering, what am I doing? Who am I? Where am I going with anything? There's going to be a lot of pain and isolation and loneliness, but you're going to get deeper into your own vibrations, and this is important for you to transform into something stronger. For your tarot, what do we have for Aries? And tarot can be a little bit more intense, so... The wheel. This is another sign that you need to trust the process of life. Look at all the patterns that you've come across lately. With all of those patterns comes wisdom. So this is your chance to finally put in the parts that you know to get out of situations and just stay relaxed, stay calm, because you're going to do it. This is your time to evolve into a better person. For my Taurus, I'm a Taurus, so I'm here for all my signs though because we all have a bunch of different signs in our natal chart anyways. Overcome obstacles. This one super applies to me just because of everything I've been trying to do on social media with all the spiritual stuff. So me and the rest of my fellow Torians, we've probably been feeling really like down on ourselves and not thinking so optimistically about what we're doing in our path. But just remember that those obstacles are there to make you stronger and you're going to make it if you keep pushing through. So just remember to change your mental narrative into something really strong. Just like Anna said one time, that make it till you make it. You wake up and you keep trying. Now for our tarot card, two of cups upside down. So if you've been having any type of relationship issues or just problems, maybe with romantic or friendship or family, just take a pause, take a break. Don't do anything that's going to like break off this friendship or relationship or don't do anything to try to overcompensate for what's been going on. Just take it easy. Just live through the course of the direction that it takes you in and just stay calm. What do we have for our Geminis? Okay, my little twinsies. Strength. Mm. So there's two kinds of strengths that you probably are aware of. There's the outer strength, which requires you to act tough, show your tough, speak tough, and keep your ground. And there's also an inner strength. And what you need to do with this card being pulled on you, Geminis, is you need to practice your inner strength. That means Whatever's going on around you when it's getting crazy, you need to practice how to mentally keep yourself grounded and respond calmly, respond with what your words and your actions are gonna lead to. Don't use any more of the outer strength. We need to see what you're capable of in here. So just remember to call your higher self and that strength when you feel like you're about to blow up. Tarot card, the fool. It's looking like you're doing a lot of stuff right now. The Fool is basically a sign that whatever journey you're going into, go into it super optimistically. Make sure you're open, optimistic, and aware. And just remember that these are all the good parts about life. For my cute little crabby cancers, pray. There's so many different ways to pray. But if you're not really that religious, all you need to do is just speak out everything that's been concerning you and stressing you and worrying you and making you anxious because the divine is listening. And whether things are changing right now or not, just know that they are listening. You are being heard and there is an agenda for you that is going to work out. But as long as you release all of that, you're going to feel so much better throughout your process. Your tarot card, the ace of wands upside down. You may be feeling like everything that you've been doing just isn't coming out to be anything important or just really bogged down and blocked. But just remember that you need to keep your head up and you need to release all of that energy and welcome in new energy that's going to help you keep going. It will pass, don't worry. For my Leos, and this is probably going to be the last sign before I make my next video. I didn't realize it was going to take me this long. 
but it's so important for me to tell you guys everything. Fusion. Ooh. I know you don't like to hear it, but we got to get through this. Right now, your higher self is being drowned by your ego. You're probably wondering why you didn't get chosen, you didn't get promoted, you didn't get the job, or you got let go, or for whatever reason, you don't understand why these things are happening to you. Well, sometimes things aren't meant to be understood and your higher self is going to remind you that no matter what happens around you it doesn't define you when you tap into your higher self while you're feeling really low you're going to remind yourself that you actually have a lot of knowledge and whatever just happened doesn't really apply to you so remember that call into your higher self and not the ego the ego is meant for other things but when you need to relax and keep in mind who you are that's your higher self for your tarot card the four of swords this is pretty much the card after you work on your higher self you're going to be going through a lot of doubts a lot of problems a lot of work that didn't add up to anything you need to meditate you need to relax and you take it easy and remind yourself that this is all part of the process focus on revitalizing your soul now i got to do the next set of zodiac signs in another video because this was already 10 minutes oh my gosh